Hello traders, Gary Wagner with the gold forecast here. On Wednesday, it is the third day of November, approximately 20 minutes to nine here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and this is the Daily Report. We have just received moments ago an announcement uh, by Bernanke about quantitative easing. The market has been lower through the morning in anticipation of that gold is currently trading off about $22 trading at $13.39 if we take a look at the low this morning it has been as low as $13.25 of course as a protective stop we did pull profits this morning at $13.40 that was 1343 that's where we put our protective stop trading about three dollars below that right now an incredibly huge knee-jerk reaction as you can see right now to the announcement now the announcement that we received was that the Fed would interject roughly 600 billion dollars into the markets by the purchase buyback of bonds in other words quantitative easing printing of more money however the anticipation was that anything over 800 billion would be considered positive in the market anything below that would be a negative factor and as you can see we're not quite getting the rea the rally uh, that you might expect after the announcement now in my opinion much of this has been factored into the market on today's report we're going to talk about how this particular announcement I believe will fare over time and our next set of strategies all here on today's daily report traders we are looking at a 60 minute gold chart with the MACD the moving average convergence divergence on the bottom as you can see the interesting thing, of course, is that we had a fairly stable market, and this was the market up until the anticipation last night of the Federal Reserve announcement. Of course, we had the market move up higher. It actually hit a high of 1365, but then in the one, two, three, four, five hours prior to the announcement, they actually came down. We hit this low here just above 1325. These are each candle represents one hour of course and then this of course right here is the announcement of quantitative easing we're going to have to actually change this to a, a much smaller time duration to get an idea of how this market reacted it is much more apparent now this is a five minute chart of course and here you can see the basic reaction that knee-jerk reaction that we're getting of course as the market in anticipation trail down it did come up a little bit but right before the meeting it fell this on a five minute chart is a beautiful hangman that we see and then as you can see there is a small rally that is beginning to ensue once it hit this 1325 area the market now is currently trading at 1342 to 1343 it looks as though now that the dust is settled as you can see we've got quite a rally ensuing currently trading at 1345 so they are pulling that market back up i will issue a uh, buy signal to re-enter the market traders that want to go ahead and re-enter the market in terms of stop placement we're going to have to place a stop under these lows here at 1325 so in terms of a stop 1320 on a stop you can enter the market at the market you can enter a long position at the market and place your stop as I said 1320 I've gone ahead and put back up our daily chart and as you can see the market is rebounding quite nicely right here now trading at 1345 so we are watching a significant rally take place in the marketplace after kind of shaking out all of the longs and uh, protecting themselves against any adverse reaction now of course we did get stopped out in small profits in the marketplace if asked would I do it again and recommend the same thing knowing what I know now 
I would have to say yes. You cannot anticipate the kind of knee-jerk reactions you're going to get in the marketplace when major announcement like this come out. It's much better to take small profits and reposition ourselves in the market than simply put ourselves at the mercy or the whims of whatever the market may do. I simply cannot operate under that kind of strategy. It doesn't make sense from any aspect in terms of protecting profits, which I believe is one of my primary functions here at the Gold Forecast. Once again, we can enter the market, long position stops, 1320. This has been Gary Wagner with the Gold Forecast, wishing you, as always, good trading, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.